Alright, so what was I going to do? I don't have any gold. Oh, I can st I can sleep in the inn for free. That's convenient. Okay, so... So... Yeah, I can keep coming back there. As long as, uh... I can come to this town. This virus. So, you came back to see me. You must really be serious about this. About what? I'd like to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. Why is it taking me somewhere special? <laughs> somewhere special, this house. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. What is that flame coming out of the, his room? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Aha! Interesting in my food, food museum. Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty... The whole half of the fridge is an empty bag of chips? Impressed? I increased the height of the, my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a lot. Look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop playing in my life with incidental music. Is that what that's called? When somebody plays that music when something like that happens? Incidental music? My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. I don't know what that would be. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. What is that? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your socks. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my... Something I did to drive my mom crazy. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. It's just a bunch of bars. You touch the cows, it makes a jangling sound. It filled with a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. 20G. I can buy two bicycles. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. It's an endless cycle. Welcome to my scenic my house. Enjoy your take. Enjoy and take your time. Is that sound? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Ah, uh, now I know. A classic image. It always reminds me of what is important in life. Bones. What sounds is in there? Why is there a flame coming from it? Yep, it's fine. Hey, those are all the texts I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Yes, Papyrus. That's my bed. It's a car. If I ever get to the surface, I like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair. You don't have skin or hair. Of course, that's just a dream. Though instead I cruise while I snooze. 
It's not bad. Uh, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? That's a crossbones sand of papyrus. Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. That, that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. He has negative two followers? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. So he's a dozen away from getting double digit followers. There are no skeletons in my closet except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up anything inside. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Yes. Okay, let's hang out. Hang out, start. Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this before, but... Keep recording, dang it. Let's see. Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for a friendship hunt. Wowee, I feel so informed. It's not Tuesday. It's Friday. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them to hang out. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will hang out with you, yes. Really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three, step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the beginning. I'll just go in and say yes. No! You planned it all along. You're way better at hanging out than I am. No, no, your friendship power. Yeah. Heh <laughs> heh. Don't think you've vested me yet. I, the great papyrus. He's sweating. Have never been beaten at hanging out, even and I never will. You never hanged out before. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold! Cool dude. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No, a genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't explain any further, unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of my- Uh oh, okay, that's souls. Of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. His hand? Be holding my hand. So I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. Then the shirt? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all the clothing orders can be improved this way. It didn't originally say cool? My hat? My hat? My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I had no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. 
You do you know what this is? Is it spaghetti? Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. Can artisans work? Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Papyrus, I'm gonna have to say no. You mean you're letting me have it instead? Because you know how much. Gosh. Papyrus. Impossible! Taking my president and turning it around on me. Ah. Oh. Ugh. Oh! It's over 9,000. Human is clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. He rejected me, didn't he? Denied. Well, I'm flattered that you care so much, but maybe cool, cool it a little bit. You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends, but I think you could reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just mine. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss, Undyne. I think if you spread your friend energy out more. You'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty weird hangout. I mean, to be fair, the only time I hang out is when I play games with my friends. We're definitely gonna save after that. Oh no, I can buy some bicycles. She raised the price. She raised the price. Good thing I bought as many as I could. Wait, hold on, there was that same emblem. Right there. It's that same emblem Toriel had. On her sh on her clothes. Alright, I guess we'll go to... Which place was next? I'm kind of liking this game because it's about going on an adventure, but it's also it's also making friends and stuff, <coughs> which makes sense because the game doesn't want you to kill any monsters. Instead, it wants you to defend them, even though they're trying to kill you too to get your soul, apparently. But I don't know what they need to sew for, like, obviously to get past the barrier, but... Uh, Toyo was talking about... Yeah, go and go on. Toyo was talking about... They... Uh, like, kids have gone... Already gone to Asgore, and apparently, I guess, died? I think that's what she said happened to them. So he already has human souls. So why didn't he just use those? Yo, are you seeking out to see her, too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> tell my Undyne? This is an echo flower, it repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is- oh, okay. I don't know what if I go back and then. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. Oh, okay. 
no one can know. I wanted to see if it would reset it, because the well, last thing he said was it, uh, it repeated what he said. Sound of rushing water fills you with determination. <laughs> so this is waterfall. What's this behind sands? What's that behind him? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. It's the other way. I know a shortcut. Grillby's is the other How is that? What? Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Alright. Here, get comfy. The whoopee cushion again. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes Weedles puts whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? The burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really, we'll have a double order of burger. So, what do you think? My brother. Cool. Of course he's cool. You'll be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Papyrus is weird. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Nah. Oh yeah. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Ah, oh, I should have said no. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. He's scratching his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. So is the head of the Royal Guard... Undyne? <clears throat> of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress, I imagine. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo- oh, the echo flower. They're all over the marsh. They say something- say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions, weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play tricks on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. The flower guy never mentioned Papyrus, so it might not be talking about that flower. The yellow flower, the one that was in the beginning. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you, you pull me away for work th for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just no. Just kidding. Really? Put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Well, okay. I didn't even eat! Yeah, it probably is. I didn't even eat it. Everything is so fun when you're around. Aww. Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of incredible food, but despite his knowledge, 
He always orders the worst burger off the menu. Okay, they say the same thing. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds the scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can hand. <laughs> we can handle. I was hoping Sans. Oh. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper. All right. So now we go back to Waterfall. So I was like, he told me more of the backstory about Papyrus. Oh, that's cool. If you hold the, if you hold up and down at the same time, it does that. It looks weird. Wait, so he brought me to Grillby's, why couldn't he just bring me back? Alright. Let's hang out again sometime. <clears throat> this is a box. Yeah, it's the same thing. You can put a box in it and then why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box. I didn't realize I was that low on bicycles. What's down here? Oh, that's hurt me. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. No, these won't hurt me. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh. Will these do anything? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Was there something behind that other water? There was. There's a tutu line on the ground. Will you take it? You got the old tutu. How much is it? Defense 10. With a protective piece of armor. I was thinking because it just said a uh, camera was behind the water and I thought maybe it's up top. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Dude, Undyne looks cool in that armor. <clears throat> uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. Well, what? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Jeez, Undyne. I've seen a papyrus is still going to be back there. Dude, she looks so cool. I never realized just the suit of armor, but she still looks cool. Oh, it's that guy from Snowden. Yo, did you see that way she was staring at me? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. She's gonna try to beat up me, kid. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed you like that hangout with Papyrus.